on it, Watson. Well, put the general at arm. We can't hold this. Call out every available brigade in the area and hurry. Right, sir. when he invented the BBC, didn't they? And they laughed at Mr. Paul when he invented Littlewood. But look at the money they've made. Yeah, but their inventions didn't stink. How do you expect to put fires out with that washing day mixture of yours? Yeah. Washing day mixture? I like that. It's a scientific formula. It's, um, it, it's K2SO4 yeah. plus, um, uh, plus K3LO5 yeah. plus, uh, plus X. Yeah. Here, what's X? Well, if I knew what that was, I wouldn't be standing here listening to you talking dribble, would I? Anyway, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not what I tried the last time. Hello. This is Bishop's Wallop Fire Chief speaking. Who? Headquarters? Oh, oh, oh yes. uh, what's it, sir? Oh, no, sir, no. No, there's been no fire here. No. This is no time for you, my sir. There's an oil factory blazing at Lake's Cross. Why haven't you answered the brigade call? Ah, oh, because there's been no call here. <coughs> you sure you've got the right number? Huh? It's ringing now. Oh, no. No, our alarm's not ringing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's a technical issue now, Yes. Hey, we'll come along at once. We'll gallop all the way. Hey! Yes. How long has that sock been there? Oh, ever since you had insomnia. Well, that was last Sunday. Yes. Well, take it out at once. No wonder there have been no fires this week. Oh! 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 There's a fire somewhere. Of course, there's a fire. There's been a fire for hours. And we should have been at it. Go on, get your helmet. Hey, who's had the hose? You had it last, watering the garden. Well, never mind who had it. You won't get it now, but... Standing bar, suppose. Yeah. Well, don't think of him. We can't put a fire without him. Oh, I cheat your wall on. Give me a moment. Hold it. Hold it. Right. What? Yes, what's that? Oh, fresh orders. Oh, wait a minute, I'll take them down. Yes, 
Yes, what is it? Half a pound of demerara, yes. Pound of streaky bacon, yes. Whoa, 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 Percy! All right, sir, coming right away, sir! Right, all right! Hey, how much time do I tell you to fix that board? I haven't any more street. What do you make it about for? Hey, up. Hey, number two. All right, stop, Ian. Stop. 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 Someone and say, Where's the fire? Why not? Well, it look bad. much farther than that the way we came. Charlie. Yeah. Get a picture. This will make a great story. Okay, I'll go and get a plate. Hey, hey, about that fire. You better read about it. And don't go away. Oil factory blaze. Flames 90 feet high. 50 fire brigades take all night to quell. Oh, he's right. That put it out. Oh, we better go home then. Well, it seems a pity after coming all this way, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Hey, look in this stock place. Maybe there's a little bit still burning. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's another fire. Yeah? Town hall ablaze. Did you say what town hall? Yes, ours. Good. Yeah. Uh, hey? This is what a town hall of blade. Hey, we better go back at once. Come on, all hands to take first and take us away. I'm going to ring the bell. Hey, you. Ring up, Mrs. Watts. Tell him we're on the way and see you guys when we get back. Wait a minute. Yes. Okay. Come on. The engine that never got there. They are with the laughing stock of the whole country. Look. Our own town hall burnt under our noses, thanks to this trio of blundering incompetence. Mr. Mayor, during the past six months, 17 of our valuable properties have been destroyed by fire. And what is more, there is no record of any of them having been put out. Uh, uh, objection. Uh, if they hadn't been put out, they'd still be burning, wouldn't they? That remark is out of order. Well, oh, no, just a moment, please. I see there's one here that was put out. It Oh, was it? Which one was that? A beach farm on the night of October the 1st. Beach farm, beach, beach That's right. Don't you remember it came on the right? Uh, <coughs> yes, it's quite right. Beach farm. Even so, they still leave 16 properties destroyed by fire to say nothing of the town hall. This wasn't our fault. We had another fire. Exactly. We can't put out two fires at once, can we? No, we've only got one square there. But you didn't put out either fire, sir. Put <laughs> the marks out of order. Oh, no, it isn't. Yes. Oh, is it? No. Mind, anyway, it's in very bad taste. But how do you expect us to be efficient when you never give us any money for equipment? We gave you 20 pounds for equipment um, last June. Yeah. For equipment? Oh, let me, I thought that was a bonus. Uh, June? No wonder he went to Black Pool. Yeah. Makes you think, dummy. Yeah. I propose to sack the lot of them and save the town a halfpenny rate. There you are, a halfpenny rate. I mean, what sort of farm do you expect to get for two a penny? Fifty measly quid a year to keep three men and a horse? And you're fitting the sector because we can't put out two fires at once. I demand a vote. Yes, yes. One moment, gentlemen, please. I think there is something in what Captain Viking says. Yes. I think we might give him one more chance. You're wasting your time, yes. sir. Oh, no, he's not, sir. It'll mean, Viking, that we shall draw the next fire as a test case. Quite, sir. We will expect you to reach it at once and to put it out immediately. You can consider it out now, sir. <coughs> in the meantime, I would suggest you take a trip to London to study their latest firefighting methods. Uh, go to London. London. London can't teach me anything. Why, with my invention, I, I can put I think it would be a very good idea, Captain Viking. Oh, well, if you insist. <laughs> what day should we make it? Here, yeah, I can send it. We can see the cup tires as well. Yeah, shut up. Uh, 
Uh, let me see now. Uh, what about Saturday? I think that might be arranged. Oh, good. I shall want some money for three first-class tickets. Very good. Yes, and see that you buy them this time. Not one first and two platform tickets like the last time. That wasn't my fault. The booking club made a mistake. I asked for three platform tickets. <coughs> Five again. Forward. Purpose of life. Now, this is the latest LCD type, Leyland Puff. Oh, Leyland Puff. Hmm. But now it is a much earlier model, although the uh, principles are the same. Yes. How high can you squirt? I beg your pardon? How high can you squirt? Uh, he means, uh, to what altitude can you project a jet of water? No, I don't. I mean, how high can you squirt? Under full pressure, this engine is capable of pumping 900 gallons per minute. Ah, 900, eh? Ah, that's not bad. Of course, that's just a few more gallons than our engine pumps. Yeah, nearly 900 more. I, I suppose, um, uh, what's the name, make quite a bit of money out of inventing a thing like this. Well, they seem to do very well out of it. Ah. <clears throat> yes, I say, uh, uh, supposing a man invented a preparation that will put out a big fire, uh, like that one at Lake's Cross, say, in 15 minutes. Oh, he'd make a fortune. Oh. Well, you know someone who's done it. Uh, but I know someone who thinks he has. Oh, it's fast. Look at that. Twenty nine. How's that for a smart turn up? Oh, not bad, not bad at all. Of course, we have done it in 26. 26? Well, I know it was well under the half hour. You mean to say it takes you 26 minutes to turn up? Oh, well, you must remember we're not mechanized. See, we've got a horse, and sometimes it takes us a quarter of an hour to find him. I see. Well, I suggest the sooner you bring your brigade up to date, the better. We two met you, Mr. Uh, Viking. Mr. Viking. Viking. Right. 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 Up to date. Who do you think he is? He's only a fireman, the same as us. London Swank? Yes. Uh, you wait till we're mechanized. Hey, you mean to say we're going to have control boards and poles the same as this? Exactly. Oh, well, then it's a good job I'm not this off. Look. <laughs> Can't I take you anywhere without you knocking something off? Hey, have you knocked off anything, too? Yeah. What? I, I mean, it would be the mouse. I'm not going to be a party to it. Well, what do you want us to do? Put it all back again? Certainly not. I think we've nothing but a lot of feet. Well, make up your mind. What do you want us to do with it? Get out of it before they miss it. Go on, get out. Get out. <laughs> Well, this end's thick and the other end's thin, you see. We're trying to put the thick end up. 
What difference does it make? Well, the difference of anything standing on its thin end. Stalk still. Uh, and stalk standing on its thin end. Uh, what are you talking about? Thin end. Now, you'll get one on your big end in a minute. Well, come on, help me put it in. Right. We'll have to take it out in the street and, and bring it in the other way around. Right. Right. Take it back to you. Now, now, come on, now, back, back. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, how did that happen? Uh, you wait here. Hey, hey. Oh, there you are. What do you think you're playing at? Are you in charge of this car? I am. What the devil do you mean by smashing my window? Listen, it's entirely your own fault. Don't you know it's illegal to park outside the fire station? I'll have you summoned for this. Police, police, oh, help. All right, all right. There's no need to be truculent. It's an accident. It doesn't happen to anybody. Arbuckle, come out here. I didn't do it. Never mind who did it. Help me get it out. Yes, sir. Woo! Who made that noise? Mike. Mike. Ah, shut up. Hi. Get that pole out the way. Oh, shut up. Hey, Mike. Hey, hey, you, you. Don't make any noise. This gentleman was here before you. Well, it's no use taking it back again, so they're quicker to push it through. Push it where you like, but get it out of here. It's hard to do, aren't we? Now, get it of it. Ready, he. Hey, find my skin. Yes, find the gentleman's skin. Yes, sir, we'll go away and leave it here. Now, come on, shoot me. Heave. 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 I say. What? Do you know you're holding all the traffic up? Go away. No, we're holding it. Go away and play with it. Get out of it. Now, oh, come on. Heave. And how about you push? Come on. Now, it's no harder than that. Come on. Heave. 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 Will you tell me to heave? Yeah, but you'll be one heaving plug all the time. No, no! I say. What is it now? Uh, what are you trying to do? We're trying to turn our pole around. Oh, uh, with what object? Will you push off? Are you going to get this thing out of my car or not? All right, all right. We're doing our best, aren't we? You know you're defeating your own purpose. Huh? I have it here. According to Proposition 5 of the Second Book of Euclid, if the straight line is divided equally and also unequally, the rectangle contained by the unequal parts and the square on the line between the points of section are together equal to the square on half the line. Well, what's that going to do with me? Well, assuming the street to be the rectangle, by withdrawing the straight line, i.e. the pole, within the point of section, i.e. the china shop, the traffic may proceed. Q-E-D. Uh, well, shall I tell you something? Yes. You can proceed. Come on, let's get this thing in. All right, all right. It's perfectly simple. All we've got to do is to take it in the china shop and let the traffic proceed. You stay here, Albert, uh, come with me. All right. Now, you go inside and steer the other end. Okay. Cut out the way. Hey, what did you do that for? I've never been to get through, have not Uh, ready, Albert? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Heave. Ah, what's going on here? And, and what are you doing? I'm holding the end of this pole. <laughs> what's that to the service? I can watch it, not smash it. Can't you take it back any farther? So this ends against the wall, but if you slew your end round a bit, I might get it through that door. How about you? Shove your end round to your left a bit. Right. You know what you've done to my people? Take my phone, tell them the other end. How did you make that noise? You really better come and do it. I it says oh. here that if two circles touch one another externally, the straight line which joins their centers will pass through the point of contact. Yes, well, we've just done that. Oh, yes, I'm aware of that. But going to the prescribed limits of the rectangle, i.e., the street being less than the inordinate length of the straight line, i.e., the pole, you're attempting to turn the greater into the less, which is absurd. The pole should be elevated to the perpendicular. Q.E.D. I'll well, do him. Certainly not. I'll do it myself. Get out of it! Get out of it! Now look here, permanent simple. All we're going to do is to elevate the pole to the perpendicular. How about you? Come here. You go and take it into the pole and raise it as high as you can. Okay. You can't get away with this. I told you before, take my book. I ain't going to get the side of my dog. Come on, I'll get you. Come on, Hey, hey, what's the thing you said that you're doing on that dog?
at all. That's not your stomach. That is your abdomen. Your stomach is up here. Look, 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 look. What's going on here? You're up in the abdomen, in the stomach. Let's get up to pee. Now it's out. Give me the door. Oh, yes, you can. Increase the angle of the base by raising the apex of the hypotenuse. I.e., by leaning out of that window and dislodging the far extremity of the pole. QED. QED. I'll give you an S.O.C.K. in the I.E. if you don't be out. E.G. Albert, get up in that room and see if you can shift it. Oh! Hey, you want all the bed? Move over. 
Clark in the first place, we wouldn't have had all those arguments with the insurance company. I still think it's a waste of time. Listen, my lad, if it's good enough for those swank pots in London, it's good enough for us. Yes, trying a bit of ivy up it to look every tonight. Yeah, ivy? What do you think we're making, a grotto? Yes. Go on, Albert, up you go and slide down it. What, me? Well, somebody's got to test it. Well, you test it, it's your pole. No, all right, all right. I'm not afraid of sliding down a pole. Mm, I don't wonder. You've been up one for years. Ha ha! Get out of it. Go on, get on with your dusting. Have you sandpapered that? Oh, yes, ever so smooth. Ah, right. Well, stand well back because I might make a fast landing. Hey, is that a nail? No. Screw. Do you mean to tell me you're going to let me slide down onto that? Well, the bird is near the bottom. Yes, <clears throat> that's just what I mean. Well, take it out immediately. Hey, do you smell something burning? Hey, I'm on, I'm on, get your water, quick. The stove's on fire. <coughs> oh, 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 get in the stove, burning down every fire. Well, get the fire extinguisher, quick. Oh. Yes, that is fast. <laughs> Hey, we're going to be famous. Come on, 
photographs on the front page of any newspaper in the country. Oh, like Garbo and Guinness. Uh, Garbo and Guinness. Some of that's all you think about. Women and wine. Oh. Hey, 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 Why, Captain Ellie? Uh, oh, well, that depends. I mean, uh, you haven't come on behalf of someone, have you? As a matter of fact, we have. Uh, oh, well, I'm afraid he won't see you. No, we haven't come with a red buddy. We've got a swell proposition for him. Oh, well, in that case, I am the captain. How are you? Cut the clowning and get the captain, will you? Oh, but I am the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Why, don't you believe me? Albert, Albert, come here. Hey, tell these gentlemen what I am. What, out loud? Yes, sir. Hey, hey, no funny gags. Am I, am I not the fire captain? All that. Yes, he is the captain at the moment. Well, I'm glad to know you, Captain. But well, we're from the Gormsborough Picture Corporation. Oh. Uh, well, we don't want to buy any pictures. We've got one upstairs. You don't understand. We make films, movies, pictures. Oh, I'd like to go on a picture. Yeah. What, I stand in for the Seven Dwarfs? Yes, hmm. We're not wanting any actors as yet. We're making an historical picture called The Conquest of Fire. And oh, I see. It's sort of a blazes through the eight. Exactly. And we want your fire engine. Uh, you want what? We want your fire engine. We'll give you a good price for it. Certainly not. We'll make it worth your while. I'll oh, bet you would. Well, the idea is preposterous. You might just as well go to some packless station and ask for a couple of platforms. Okay, if you can afford to turn down real money. Oh, well, uh, how long would you want it for? Oh, just a few hours. Yes, but suppose the fire alarm went while it was away. Huh. We can easily stop that. Ow. Put a sock in it. Uh, uh, yes. Um, you see, it's... Um, it's worth 20 pounds, sir. Well, uh, there are a lot of other film companies after our engine, too, you know. Uh, all right. 30 pounds, then. That's better. And now, and the balance when we take the engine. It's a deal. Uh. Uh, I suppose we couldn't have the balance now and the other 10 when you take the engine. I can see you're a businessman. All right. 10 pounds more. Can I have a receipt for it? Blimey, you can have the station for it. Hey, you speak when you're spoken to. Give me a piece of paper. How would you like the receipt worded? Uh, to hire a fire engine, 30 pounds. Uh, to hire a fire engine, 30 pounds. Received on account, 20 pounds. P.S. Uh, 10 pounds to come. There you are. Well, you better keep ringing me up every morning to see when you can have it. When we can have it? Yes. But we want it for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, no, that's impossible. No, I've got a very important demonstration to do first. Why are you double-crossing it? Uh, when did you figure on us having it? Well, let me see. Today's Monday. Now, if they test my formula on Wednesday, you can have it on Thursday. Or till late Friday. Well, if that's the way it is, Cap, I guess that'll have to do. I'll phone you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye. 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 Bye. Come on, divvy up. I want my ten quid. Uh, your ten quid? Oh, I like that. Three's in the thirty, that's ten quid each. Come on, cough up. I'll do nothing of the kind. Besides, I haven't got thirty quid. I've only got 20. No, you've only got 10. That makes us square. Well, would you believe it? Here, tell you, Joe. Here, look here, come here. You'll have to wait till those gentlemen have paid the balance. Well, when will that be? Just as soon as they've tested my formula in London. Yes, but that might not be for months and months and months. Well, look at the interest you'll get. What, 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 what interest? Well, the interest looking forward to your money. You yes, see? what I want to know is... Never mind, I don't want to hear. I want to get on with your sweeping. Yes, yes, that's all I do. Get on with your sweeping. Oh, pick on me. Anybody would think I was a boy. I'm older than them two put together. Who always gets the worst of it here? Me. Who always has to drink out of the crack cup? Me. Who gets no fried bread in the morning? Me. Why don't you stand up for yourself? No use. They wouldn't listen to me. They wouldn't listen to me. I'm just a... Oh, little old Cinderella. Well, we wasted six months trying to figure that out before. That'll be Hank. Open the gates. I tell you, it's the craziest stunt I've ever heard of. You said that about the bullion job at Hest. Yeah, but bullion and crown jewels are two different things. It's impossible, Chief. To start with, there's no way of getting in the tower. That's just it. There was no way, but I... To get it? As good as. There's uh, just a little matter of when we collect it. Great. 
We told them we wanted it for a movie. <laughs> and they swallowed it. Surely you never saw three goofier guys. Did you get a good look at the engine? It's identical. Where's the book? The only difference is theirs has shafts and the tar engine has hand gear. We'll soon fix that. Show them to Daring here. He still believes we can't do it. I still don't see. Now, this, in the case of a fire in the tar, this engine is allowed to go in and out without question. And 20 minutes is all we want. Underweight and a half of soap, 14 gallons of K2SO4. Yes, send me up another dozen. Oh, you know, this has been cheaper. We'd have bought it by the barrel. Oh, don't talk nonsense. Something's back on every bottle. Look at all those empties. Good as money in the bank. Six, eight, ten. Oh, that reminds me. What about my tenner? It's Friday now. I can do with a bit on account. You, you'll get tons on account if you don't shut up. What I want to know is, do I get my tenner by Saturday or don't I? You don't. Ah, all right. Then I hope the invention don't work, see? Cool, there's a friend for you. Putting a curse on it for a measly tenner. Hey, put that down. I can't get paid one way. I'll take it another for there. You get up there and cut some soap. Go on. The knife's on top. Hurry up. Cut soap. Soap. All I seem to do is cut. Oh, slice it up quickly. I don't make the lumps too big. And if this knife slips, I'll cut me flat. Well, if you do, lean back and don't muck up my formula. Hey, you said it full. Is it? Good. Well, that's that. Yes. Now we're going to have some package for my new turnout apparatus. Turnout apparatus. <laughs> Just a lot of junk. Junk? You ever fell into my patent harness, Clopper? It's more like a born brother shop to me. Uh, listen, I'm fed up with you two, Grumbling. You're going to use that gear and like it. We'll have a package turnout now. What, now? They'll be open in ten minutes. Oh, let me. The only turnout you understand is time, gentlemen, please. Go on, follow me. Well, here we are. Now then. I turn the wheel, the horse box opener, and at the same time, I pull these chains, you see? And the volatile in the stable slaps the horse sparkly on the, uh, uh, well, whichever way he's standing, and he comes out onto the turntable. I know, he says, who's been walloping my porridge? <laughs> oh, very funny, very funny. Yes, well, I said I was going to mechanize this fire for the day, and I've done it. Now, uh, I've been it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no, you don't. You come back here. Come on. We're going to try this. Now, you ready? Go. The alarm rings. Down the pole, out with the horse, down with the turntable, down with the shaft, on with the harness, and out we go. They are seven and a half seconds. Mm. We made a smart getaway, didn't we? Yes. yes. But we're still here. Well, of course we're still here. I'm just trying to explain it to you, thickhead. I mean, you know, I've been lying awake at night thinking how it could be done. Yes, and I've been lying awake at night thinking how I've been done. If you only let the picture bloke have that engine, I'd have had my tenner for now. Now, listen, once and for all, that engine's staying in my possession till I've had a chance of demonstrating my formula in London. Yes, sir, why wait for London? Why not have a fire here and tell London all about it? Oh, it? Don't, don't you understand? It's got to be a big fire. Something London's bound to hear about. Something that my invention can put out so quickly it'll be a sensation. There's nothing big enough here. Hey, where are you going? Yeah, I might never live to see a fire as big as that. Don't worry. You will where you're going in a few years' time. Oh, Oh, for me? Grump who's to pay. Huh? Grump who's to pay. What for? The stamps come off. Well, you don't expect me to pay for that, do you? I mean, I didn't stick it on. The grump who's to pay, anyhow. Oh. Well, Albert? Sorry, money. I've got a ten pound note your car there. Oh. Well, well, you better leave the letter. We'll uh, pay tomorrow. Against regulations. No money, no letter. Good evening. Uh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. That letter may be important. Well, it must have some change somewhere. Albert, turn out your pockets. Yeah, that's all I've got. A penny. Right. Penny. Uh, let me see. Oh. There you are. There's a penny and there's an empty with tuppence on it. Give me the letter. I suppose it's all right. Of course it's all right. There's tuppence on it. It's legal tender. Well, we're very busy now. Good night, my man. Good night. Good night. Hey, where do you think you're going? I think the fire. What fire? Fire at the petrol station. What petrol?
look right. You turned him too far. Uh, what kind of a fool now? I'd like to pull his neck out. I told you it was a waste of time. It's the human element that's let me down. Everything would have worked perfectly if it hadn't been for Dopey's grandfather. I say, I say. But do you know there's a fire? Get out of it. Go on, Alan, go on. Raise the harness. Go on. I'm so handsome, Pop. Let me know what you've done. What's going to look at the door when the horse hasn't even gone? Go on, open up again. Those 
five. There's only five? I counted them. And then I shall put it to the vote. All those in favor? So we dismissed, eh? I'm afraid so. Eh? Well, what about our two weeks' money? Yes. We've always had that. Here, what about my thousand? You will hand in the key of the fire station. And tomorrow morning, the equipment will be checked. Oh. Uh, hello, yes? Speaking? My house? Yes. Oh, what about it? This what? It? Good heavens! What's happened? My house is on fire. Viking, quick, get out the engine. Uh, who, me? Oh, no. Oh, my house is ablaze. Oh, I can't help that. I'm shacked. Oh, but you can't see my house burnt to the ground. Can I? Oh. Oh. Hey, let him have a go at it. He's clever about putting fires out. Yeah, and we'll go and watch him. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 look at the smoke. Look at it. Uh, he better hurry. <laughs> He's going lovely, ain't he? <laughs> Good Lord, the whole room's on fire. For my sake, man, you you must go. Uh, listen, we'll go on one condition. Yes, yes. You give us back our jobs. Oh, anything only. Hurry, hurry. Right. Uh, we'll say fire brigade. Forward. Hurry, boys, make it snappy. Come on, boys. Okay, Tim. Well. Throw it up the back and let's get going. Right. Jim, quick, they're coming back. Come on. Board. I want to light the engine fire. Oh, here, 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 here. Come on, tell me something. I don't want to hear it. Light the engine fire. Yes, but I... Don't you know what I say? Light the engine fire. I can't light the engine fire. Why not? Because there ain't no engine. What? There's five suns there. It's right. It's gone. Oh. And it's gone, too. Hey, who's been turning out our brigade? Oh, who? What? Get on with it. Oh, it's from that film company. Oh, yeah, listen. Thanks for the engine. Enclosed here with the other ten pounds. Yes. Oh, thank you. Here, 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 that's mine. Uh, uh, never mind, there's no time to argue. Get away. We've got a fire to put out. <laughs> what, with the engine we haven't got? They can't take liberties like that with me. I'm going to phone that film company and tell them to send it straight back. Fine, and order two ton of coal for the mayor's house while you're about it. Uh, hello? Uh, get me the film studios. Uh, hey? What? Oh. What's the name of the film company? Don't know. If I did, I wouldn't tell you. Nothing on the letter either. Uh, I should know the name if I heard it. What film studios have you got? Hmm? No, no, it's none of those. No. Their representative came and called on me last Monday. I don't know his name, but he's a, he's a thin fella with a bowler hat and a little moustache. No, no, not Charlie Chaplin. What's he say? Oh, he says the mayor's house is on fire. Oh. Well, we'd better start packing. What for? We haven't been sacked yet. No, the mayor said he'd give us another chance. Yeah. Uh -huh, but that was before we gave him an illuminated address. Okay, you guys, get the shafts off this engine. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. How did he get in here? He must have been out all the time. All right, fellas, get the hands you're on and work for us. Right. I mean, I'll get it done with a bigger box, too. Well, what do you want to take away all that junk for? Well, you don't think I'm going to leave it here for our successors, do you? Why not? They're no friends of ours. Yeah. Hey, it's quite enough of that from you, man. And that doesn't belong to you, either. Hello? Yes, yeah, speaking. Uh, you what? <laughs> they found Percy. No, it's no use us coming to fetch him. You better keep it. Yeah, he's sacked the same as us. Where is he? Whooping Old Stairs Police Station. He's been pinched. Whooping Old Stairs? Blimey, that's in London. How'd he get there? Here. 
I take it we ain't in the end, but he followed it. Yeah. Listen, Inspector Hornley, what does it matter who's got him? We haven't got him, and we haven't got a job either. Got a knife? That's another thing we haven't got. Oh, well, I'll bottle, go and feel in my pockets. And I know what's in those pockets, so don't try and knock anything off. Nothing worth knocking off. Hey, that's your footman's to pay letter. You haven't even known it yet. I'm not surprised. What with those two fires and you two fatheads, I've no time for anything. Yeah, reminds me. I wonder how that fire's going on. Ah, oh, don't talk, Sean. Hey, listen to this. London Fire Brigade Headquarters. Dear sir, our analyst reports favorably on your formula. Could you be available to demonstrate here at 3 o'clock on the 15th? We're made. That'll teach you the sack us. 15th? Yes, tomorrow. You can't do it. Yeah, oh, why can't I do it? We haven't got an engine. No? Well, we've got all night to find it, and we're going to. Yeah. Where'd they say they have person? In Clink. I know that, but which Clink? I remember a place called Whacking Big Steps. A place called what? Whacking Big Steps. Whacking Big Steps. Yeah. Whopping old stairs. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Hello, is the, uh, is the fire out yet? Oh, yes, you'll be with burnt out. Arrest those men. Oh, usual kind of horse, you know, oblong and plumped at one end. Yeah. And when it's clean, he's a white draft horse. Yes, he's got the hair on his ankle. Uh, the answer's the name of Percy. Yes, here it is. It was brought in at 5.45. Do you know when he was found if he had a fire engine on him or not? Don't try to be funny. Is this your horse or isn't it? Of course it's our horse. Well, there's five shillings to pay. Five shillings? I mean, do we have to bail him out? A shilling police fee and four shillings for his food. Blimey, what have you been giving him? Chicken? He's had two buckets of hay and chopped oats. Yeah. Chopped oats? Oh, he's to give him sawdust. He doesn't know the difference. Look, you're wasting my time. Sign here, give me the five shillings and take the horse away. All right, well, where is he? He's tied up in the yard. What? Out in the cold in that cop of his? Oh, hey, if that horse gets drunk, kind of, I'll report you to the RSPCA. There he is. Get him out in the cold and horse. That's from Daddy. That's from Daddy. That's from me. Oh, Keep your whiskers out of his mouth, will you? We've got work to do. Go on, untie him. Oh, I'm all right. Go on, Ed. Whoa, Percy. Whoa. Whoa. Good boy. <laughs> Alice, where'd you leave the engine? Was it that way? Huh. Well, was it that way? Uh -huh. Well, was it straight ahead? Uh -huh. huh. He don't know much, do he? No, but even that, he knows more than you. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's shout fire and see which way he goes. Good. Fire! Fire! Ah. <laughs> got any more bright ideas? Yeah, let's tie him up again and go back home. Oh, that woke him up. What did you do? Well, I only kicked that tin. Did you? Yeah. Now, look. When I shake this tin, we'll all shout fire, you see? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Stop! At two minutes twelve, Jim will cut the fire alarm wires which run along this wall of the tower. At midnight exactly, Len and Mike will be at this spot with our smoke box. Are they both set? Yes, they went in with the visitors this afternoon. The van will be here. At twelve strikes, you will pass in as the tower fire brigade. You will make straight for the jewel tower leaving the engine here so as to block that open. Hank and Jim, you both know your job. Oh, yes, sure will. Well, that's all. The success of this plan depends on every move being timed to the split second. It's now 11.33 exactly. The van will leave here in four minutes, so get along. All right. All right. Ah. They're locked. Uh, what do we do now? Let's ring the bell and ask for our engine back. Don't be silly, we can't do that. We don't know if the engine's there. We've only got Percy's word for it. Let's look through a crack in the door. There ain't any crack. Yeah, I'll give you a bunk up, then you can climb over the top. Yeah. What, up there? Yeah. yeah. Well, suppose I sit on those spikes. Well, if you sit on them firmly, they won't hurt you. Yeah? Well, you try that. I'm going to try the wall. The tire's still here. Yeah, but there's no spikes. We'll never get over there. Oh, yes, we will. Our bottle, turn Percy round. Look, we'll, we'll, we'll get on the Percy's back. Then you two climb up on my shoulders, you see? Come on. Oh, Percy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. Right, I'll 
Well, come on, let's make a start. I'll get up first, then you two get up onto my shoulders, and when you both get to the top, you pull me up after you. Give me a bunk up, come on. Here, here, here. How do we get Percy up? See? How do we get Percy up? What on earth do we get Percy up for? So we can get down the other side. Uh, all right, all right. I'll bring Percy up under my arm. Here, take my helmet. Climb up onto my shoulders. All right, make your hand into a stick. Yeah. What have I got to hang on with me, Keith? Well, that's how they do it in the circus. Yeah. I suppose you'd like me to juggle a couple of other things at the same time, would you? Go ahead, up you get, up you get. Keep still up there. Seems easy, eh? Yeah, I can. Don't tickle me. Come on, come on, now, come on, now, get out of here, come on, beat it, come on, come on, scram, get out of here, go on, beat it, beat it, on your way. Oh, I thought you said you saw Percy galloping down the street. I said I heard the clatter of us. Uh, your brain's rattling, that's what it was. Now we don't know where we are. Cool, look, Windsor Castle. Yeah, Windsor Castle, Windsor Castle's in Scotland. That's the Tower of London, where the swear word tower is. No, that's in Blackpool. Yeah, and I wish you were there with it, too. Oh, look, look, it's Percy. Oh, hey, where did you come from? Oh, I thought I heard him. Here, the engine can't be far away. Uh, didn't they say they were making an historical film? Yes. Well, very well, they're filming in the tower. Oh. Follow me. Oh. Come on, Percy. Come on, boy. Oh, oh two goes there. Uh, uh, please throw Magnus in the horse. Advance one and give the countersign. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Go on, push off or else I'll call the guard out. Off it, go on. Yeah, oh, Percy. I'm sorry. I, I only wanted to ask you if you... Uh, it's all right. There you are. I only want to ask you if you knew if they were filming it. Now, what are you doing to the fan? Oh, shoot me. Uh, Fancy. Huh? Oh, I say, mister. Uh, all right. Wait. Huh? Listen, I, I don't want to interrupt your work. Mark uh, time. You know what you want? Uh, could you tell me if they're filming in there? Filming? Yeah, ask him about our engine. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're looking for a fire engine like this. Have you seen it anywhere? Of course I have. It's in the West Bastion. Forward. Uh, eh? In the West Bastion. Well, hear what he says, and only ask him a civil question. Well, he told you he means one of those round fault things in the west corner. Oh, is that what he meant? Oh, I see. Hey, there you are. Tower five again. Hey, perhaps they know something about it. Yeah. Know hmm. something? Lovely, they've got it. Cool. Oh, I think they're knocking it off. Yes. Yeah. Hey! Anybody there? All right, boys, get her out and turn her around. There's only a few seconds to go. Let's go. 
Aren't you trying to get away with the crown jewel? We would have got away with them, too, if it hadn't have been for this muck. Hey, what is it, anyway? Oh, whatever it is, it seems to have made a pretty good job of you, fellas. Just what I was thinking. I'd like to meet the men responsible for this. 